next, a dramatic reenactment of a factual case taken from official files. Actual troopers portray those appearing in our story. Kentucky State Police Trooper Leroy Buckner has stopped to talk with other officers about some recently stolen cars. Put on that bill, would you? 17-year-old honor student Jennifer Bridges is on her way home from school and cheerleading practice. Oscar Anderson has been on a two-day drinking spree, terrorizing the neighborhood by shooting into people's homes and driving recklessly. Come on! Come on! Get that! Yeah! Take that, baby! <laughs> he terrifies the young girl, nearly causing serious injury. A witness gets the license number and calls police. Three miles east of Glasgow on Frank's Mill Road. Go ahead. Ten four, being ready. Buckner hears the report of a hit and run accident three miles away and goes to the scene. I can't, I can't run around, man. It just hurt me off the road. Come on! In a drunken stupor, the man runs into a tree trunk. He gets out of his car and looks for a place to hide. The trailer is abandoned. This two-door uh, with four doors. Glasgow police officer finds a car fitting the description of the hit and run vehicle. To the stump right here at the corner, Frank's Mill Road, the trailer. I'm gonna stand by here till y'all get here. When Buckner hears that the car has been found, he joins members of the Glasgow Police Department. I'm pretty sure he's inside. I heard a bunch of noise. Okay. Steve and I'll take front, but you take it back. Leroy's got a gun! A drunken man with a shotgun threatens Kentucky State Troopers and the Glasgow Police Department when we come back. Oscar Anderson has rammed a car at the end of a two-day drinking binge. Trooper Leroy Buckner of the Kentucky State Police joins the hunt for the hit-and-run driver. Leroy's got a gun! He's got a shotgun! Buckner calls for backup, just as Trooper Joe Layden reaches the scene. The troopers know the gunman to be a local troublemaker. Drop the weapon, Oscar. Get out of here! Drop the weapon. Get out of here! Get out! Drop the weapon! Drop the weapon, Oscar. Drop the weapon, Oscar. Drop the weapon! Drop the weapon! Drop the weapon! This situation wasn't going to end peacefully. He was determined that it wasn't going to end peacefully. I mean, he never gave any indication that he was going to give up or that uh, he was even considered uh, submitting to arrest. The gunman died three hours later at the hospital. He had prior arrests for assault and domestic violence. For shooting at a policeman eight years before, he had served five years. Trooper Buckner still works the roads of Barron County on patrol for the Kentucky State Police.